The Who's Who in Ghana Business is a unique business directory which specifically targets businesses that seeks to invest and build partnerships in Ghana. It is organized by industry and provides a customized layout of company profiles, contact information, and photographs of key players within the industry. At the official launch held at the residence of the British High Commissioner Thursday night in Bel Air, Chairman of Action Invest Caribbean Inc. Vishnu Dorga explained the reason for the directory. And the directory serves specifically organizations who are seeking to invest, uh, build and or expand various forms of strategic alliances in Guyana. It is organized by economic sectors and it provides a customized layout of company profiles, contact information and photographs of key uh, players. It's, the organizations are named, right? It's the people behind the organizations that really make these organizations successful and they require the recognition as such as well. And this just provides one more platform that really allows the recognition of the directors, executives, management and the frontliners who really have to serve those that we are involved with every single day. We have analyses and projections of our 2019 national budget, uh, which includes um, a sector-specific breakdown as well, and also projections of what we expect to have happen. Chairperson of Go Invest Ghana, Patricia Bacchus, said these are profoundly exciting times in Ghana's economy. She said that over the last two to three years, Ghana has seen increase in business interests, and this augurs well for the country. For the past over a decade, we have recorded positive annual GDP performance even during periods where there were volatile and depressed regional and international economic conditions. Being the only English-speaking country in South America, equipped with a young, trainable, and English-speaking workforce, a country with an abundance of land for development, vital natural resources such as fresh water and precious minerals, a country largely insulated from natural disasters that affect, affect all the countries in the region, it is only a matter of time, or it was only a matter of time, before this potential fully materialized into rewarding economic development. And what we are witnessing here is remarkable strides in that direction. According to her, the fact that Ghana's economy is young means there are tremendous opportunities in a magnitude of industries, many of which are significantly underdeveloped. This provides a unique opportunity for the development of value chains in a manner which is cognizant of international best practices. In light of our trajectory as a country, it is very inspiring to witness the entrepreneurial spirit, not only in terms of foreign direct investments coming in, but also in terms of the expansion and repositioning of local businesses to monopolize novel opportunities as they arise. Of equal significance are the development of systems and tools and the strengthening of institutions to ensure that such entrepreneurial spirit is adequately facilitated. The Who's Who in Ghana Business Directory is one example of the development of tools to aid in the navigation of the local business landscape. I did benefit from receiving an advanced copy and therefore wish to commend Vishnu and his team and everyone involved in this publication for a job impeccably done. Since the discovery of oil off Ghana's coast in May 2015, Ghana has seen increased interest in investment in its oil and gas industry and economy. Ghana is poised to be the breadbasket of the Caribbean when it begins extraction early 2020 through oil giant ExxonMobil. Calvin Abrams, Newsroom.